tyranny. One person takes power by force. During the mid 600s BCE, people in many Greek city states turned to men who promised to change the government. The men who forced the oligarchs from power were called tyrants. In a tyranny, the ruling power is in the hands of one person who is not a lawful king. A tyranny is different from a monarchy in two ways. First, a tyrant cannot claim that he has a legal right to rule. Second, a tyrant's son does not usually inherit his father's power. Tyrants usually took and kept control by force, but that doesn't mean they were always unpopular. Most Greek tyrants were military leaders who gained the support of the pe people by promising them more rights. And once they were in control, many Greek tyrants ruled well. They made changes that helped the poor. Some canceled the debts of poor farmers. Others were hostile to aristocrats and may have taken away their land. Other tyrants, though, did not use their power to help the people. Hippias, the last tyrant in the city-state of Athens, is one example. Along with his brother, Hippocarchus, Hippias ruled well at first. Then, two enemies of the brothers murdered Hipparchus. After that, Hippias ruled more harshly. He paid spies to report anyone who criticized him. As his rule became more and more unbearable, he was finally forced to leave power. Soon, Athens would try another form of government, one that shared the power among all citizens.